house feeling like maybe it might be springtime. Yes! Unfortunately, we're running three hours late. I'm leaving Soph here and um, heading on into... Yeah, I'll show you in a minute. I'm bit of a rush. Yeah, I'm leaving my car parked up and taking an Uber into the centre of London because I do not like driving through the centre of London, in particular with 21 inch wheels. Ah, oh, here we go. Uber time. Sorry, just get my bag on. <sighs> right. What an amazing horse that was. Yep, that's the one. Right. Hello, Hello. how's it going? Right, you? Yeah, good, thank you. Good you. I brought some stuff. Good man. <laughs> cool. So you got them all finished then? Yeah, right. this is the first one finished. We've got another one a couple of weeks behind it. Cool. So, in case you couldn't guess from the electric Porsche that we've seen before, this is actually nothing to do with electric classic cars, it's the classic chrome. But we're here because electric classic cars are launching a series of Fiat 500s that have been converted to run on battery power. And anything with battery power and I'm there, you know. Perfect for cities though, those things, because unlike modern cars, which, let's face it, they're a bit on the large side they've been getting larger and larger for years whereas this has got all the character plus that really dinky old-fashioned size so we're gonna have a little bit of go with that in a second very exciting just waiting for richard to come back been doing test drives all day long just go grab a coffee i guess yeah i did um i did a, i had a good video with the porsche actually really really enjoyed doing it it's an amazing car i had a 1972 which was you know, beautiful, it was a team, incredible sound, everything about it, but um, it caught fire because basically petrol, got dirt got the carburetor, spat up, spat up, burning petrol, caught fire in the engine bay, and uh, within about 18 minutes it all burnt to the ground. Ooh. So, um, no, not, not, so anyway, looking at that, I'm like, that's the best, that, that's the best of both of us. It looks so stunning. It looks just incredible. Mm. Oh, I just want to drive it. <laughs> oh, it's like agent. So like a special agent. It's quite quiet, isn't it? You have to see what you've been up to. I've changed. You have yes, changed. Yes, I noticed a bit. that. Good, good stuff on the facial hair. I fully approve. Thank you very much. So, what have you been up to? Busy, busy, busy. More cars. Um, built a little Fiat 500 and got another one coming up behind it. I saw a couple of those in the garage when when we were in work. Yeah, that's is, it. Is, is this one of those two? They were patiently waiting in the back rooms. This is one of them that was up there then, and uh, we've got a cream one as well, which is about two weeks away from the finish as well. There's a number of cars we've done since then, but today's event is all around launching the electric yes. vehicle for the London city market so I think it's a perfect car for It's them. perfect for that. This space is normally the uh, fuel tank in the Fiat 500 so what little luggage space you do have is normally cramped here and even then you take your shopping out and it smells of petrol. There's a one Tesla battery in the front here you've got your two additional Tesla Model S batteries in this box here you've got your charger here you've got a controller underneath the uh, battery box there and buried deep down there is the uh, is the motor we've done two fiat 500s now and we've got it pretty pretty much nailed so we're going to start offering these as a kit on our website for people to do their own conversions motor controller charger adapter plate uh, wiring loom uh, etc so this is about as the easy stroke simplest conversion you can probably uh, do on a, on a classic car. It's quite cramped but 
the simplicity of it, because you've only got three batteries, etc., and a small little uh, motor, it's probably the simplest conversion. So if somebody's going to do a DIY conversion, it's probably the best car to start with, I think. Hidden the uh, general charge point, underneath the nose, cute as a button. Well, what kind of battery size are we talking here? Right, so on the tech, it's a 16 kilowatt hour battery pack. So we've got a 47 horsepower motor in the back, which is over double the amount of power that the original engine had. So it's plenty, plenty of power. Charger in it is uh, only a little small charger, so it's still an overnight charger, but we can put a slightly larger charger in it, which charges up in four hours. I mean, ultimately, if we're talking about around London, it's, you know, the, the distances you do in the day are so tiny. Yeah. Right, well, uh, let's go for a little drive. Let's go. Trains don't help the sound. Or planes. Yeah. You certainly know it's an electric car because you know you know you hear everything but the car. That's one of the great things though about electric cars, isn't it? You can hear the birds tweeting yeah. as you drive through the countryside. Yeah. It's such a great car for the city because it's so small and uh, nimble. You can dart in and out of traffic everywhere. It's like being on a scooter. And when you put your foot down, Whoa. It's, it's got enough power to get you out of trouble and break all your equipment that's on the back seat. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. You just leave it in one gear and treat it like an automatic. So I, I, I think this car's hilarious fun to drive. You've got a, a stop pedal, left pedal braking, and then you've got a right pedal for acceleration. So it's like a, um, a fairground dodge and ride. You know, where you got one foot to go, one foot to stop. It's like that, as you'll find out. And how do I go? Uh, well, on brake, turn key. Hang on a minute. Right, so, yeah, turn it on. Like that. Handbrake off. Actually amazing. I want one. Oh my God, it's like, this is just crazy. You want to go left here. Where's that brake arm? Um, oh yeah, he should have tried the brakes before I... It's got disc it brake conversion on the front actually, the brakes yeah. are uh, pretty good. I'm sure they're great, but you've got to find the pedal. You've got to find <laughs> the pedal, yeah. Nice car. Cheers. I'm just going to go. you the you got plenty, this is the thing, it's so small you can fit through tiny little gaps. Yeah. It's getting used to it though as well, because I'm not at all used to it and it picks up very smartly and you do there's there's some you, some you need to mean it with the brake don't you it's a classic car so i mean even though it's got disc brakes yeah. on the front it's not vacuum assist uh, brakes like modern cars yes exactly. but it'll, it'll certainly stop no problem but you just need to put a bit more pressure than yeah, a modern car that way too bad you can't take it down the bike lanes yeah <laughs> it'd fit you haven't changed gear once you haven't no. need to uh, dip the clutch once you know, it's literally just like driving an automatic. Probably mm. similar to driving the Tesla, would have thought. Yeah, I always say this about the cars you convert, and it, it still feels like an old car. But unlike the original old car, this one has got the bits that weren't so good ironed yeah. out. You know, like the petrol tank and the... That's what I find so great about classic conversions, is what you wind up with is a better car than it was originally, Yep. but without losing the character. A bit like, you know, everyone wants to live in an old-fashioned house, right? A nice, characterful house. But funnily enough, when it starts leaking and the fuel bill comes in in winter and it's like a thousand pounds for a month, all of a sudden everyone's not so keen. Yep, exactly. You know? But this is kind of like that old-fashioned, characterful house with minimal fuel bill, great insulation, and a non-leaky roof. The best of all worlds. He gets it! We aim to take all the negative aspects of the classic cars out of the equation, so all you're left with is a positive experience. Electric makes well, absolutely. it completely I mean, that, maintenance free. I wouldn't own a classic car for that exact reason, because it would just not work one morning, and I'd be like, well, what do I do with this now then? Yeah. You know? But electric motors, there's really nothing to not work on them, is there? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Change gear, now we're not moving, don't dip the clutch, just yep. literally, uh, I'll do it for you, because you don't know where reverse is, so it's down and across, now you're in reverse. 
So was, were we driving around in first? Then, second, technically? that was second. second gear, which is fine up to probably about 40 or 50 miles an hour, to be honest. And how many gears does it have? Four. Speaking? You don't really want to use first. Um, uh, fourth will get you up to probably about 70 miles an hour. If you're buying the car today, so this car, 25,000 pounds, it's for sale. Really, is that all? Yep. And oh goodness. It's a deal. It's just sold. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, so camera. we've got a series of Fiat 500s that we're doing. So this is a 65. Yeah. We've got a 72, I think, that was um, a couple of weeks behind this. It's going to be finished soon. And then we're just going to keep on knocking them out because I think they're perfect for the city market and I think they'll they do are, well absolutely. for uh, London. Brilliant. Well, thank you so much. No worries, James. Cheers. Good to see you again. And you. I better get cracking, otherwise the wife will tell me off for being late. Well, I've got from oh, London up seriously. to Mid-Wales, so I've got a journey ahead of Oh, right, of me yes. As well. Better get cracking. Good drive back to Wales. See you next time. Bye-bye, little Fiat 500. That Fiat 500 was amazing. Loved that thing. Perfect for the city, truly spot on. And still has that classic feel, which is what you want from a classic car. You just don't want all the problems that normally go with them. So I'm now heading back. I'm gonna meet up with Soph and then we're gonna go off into town. Hello, just wanted to let you know what my ETA is. Party time. Uh, the Ivy. I do like Uber. You've been banging on about Uber all No, I'm not banging on about Uber. I'm banging on about Fiat 500s being the most awesome city cars. It's a shame Which of course they are. Fiat yeah, I should have asked Richard to lend me one. I'll tell you what, the thing's tiny. You could drive it down this pavement. <laughs> We're all just basically partying now and having a good time great way to end the day and I'm going to say goodbye. I hope you've enjoyed today's vlog post. If you have, remember to like it, share it and subscribe if you haven't already and follow me on Instagram if you don't already and I'll see you tomorrow for the next instalment of my daily vlog. Bye. Showing everyone my gimbal. So things fantastic. <laughs> oh my god, that's beautifully smooth. Um, action. <laughs> I never know what people are supposed to do when you say action. You're supposed to literally just start dancing. Oh, break, yeah, break into a dance. Oh, running man, running man, now. Go, go. <laughs> right, I, 50, 000, I hurt my ankle a while ago. It's not good.